Hello, I am Kim Pitzer and I am honored to serve as your superintendent. Miami Trace is a district filled with great pride and strong tradition while pursuing new heights to serve our students. We are in year three of a five-year district strategic plan. Most districts have a plan of some sort to guide and unify their efforts. Here at Miami Trace, we are committed to our strategic plan. All decisions we make link back to the content found in our plan. January 1st, 2024 brought a transition to our Board of Education. Mr. Brian McCoy and Mrs. Lindsay Worley joined Mr. Rob Dawson, Mrs. Jacqueline Farrens, and Mr. Dave Miller. We are thankful for the dedication that our Board of Education provides to the school community. Each district in Ohio is evaluated by a state report card using a star rating. For the 22-23 school year, Miami Trace earned a four out of five stars. While we celebrate the successes that led to this rating, we also recognize that there is room for improvement. And we know that serving our students extends beyond a test score. It's about meeting the needs of all students, which is goal one of our district strategic plan. I'm proud to be a Panther because my entire family's went here. My dad graduated from high school here and I love the school. I love the teachers at Miami Trace because they're all very kind and um, understanding of their students. I like football so so when I grow up I, I, I could play on uh, high school and then go, then go to Dallas Cowboys. I would like to be an FFA because that's what my older brother does and that would give me the opportunity to work on the farm with my dad. Instead of just coming to school being a student, you're part of a whole community. I'm proud to be a Panther thanks to the support of Miami Trace and the community and the arts. I have the opportunity to perform in four bands, three choirs, and annual musicals and plays. Performing in these groups have encouraged me to pursue a degree in instrumental music education. During my time as a Panther, I have been involved in several athletic programs starting in elementary school and continuing to the high school level. Through athletics, I've been able to learn several life lessons such as responsibility and accountability. I've also recently had the opportunity to sit in on our district's health wellness committee where I've gained new perspectives and experiences that will better prepare me for my career in the medical field. I think it is really neat that I'm able to get certifications to earn my career and get paid for it while I'm still in high school. Science at Miami Trace it provides us a, a sort of unique opportunity. Um, we go through conceptual stuff just like any other class, but then we get a hands-on chance to apply those concepts, um, equip our students with skills and tools, and get them to actually search for themselves the answers, creative solutions applications of the concepts. The building space allows us for this. We have all the equipment we need. So it's, it's a great opportunity for our kids. Um, and especially in this classroom, kids looking for higher education opportunities. Um, the different classrooms are gonna have different spaces and different opportunities as well. Um, so it's, it's a good experience for our students. So here at the middle school, we are, our focus is um, making that connection with this age group to get them closer to their history, not only world and American history, but also local history as well. We feel the closer connection they can make to that history, that will get them more interested and maybe spur them as they get into the high school, investigating, especially their, their personal family history as well. So students tend to learn best when they're actively engaged in the learning process. So we try to take what we know about our students, um, their interests, activities they participate in, their future goals and plans, and we try to use that and incorporate it into the classroom material. Our curriculum does a great job of providing a lot of modeling opportunities and it teaches the students not just why it works, but also how to solve the problem and when to apply it. Our ultimate goal is to make sure that they don't just pass the test at the end of the topic or at the end of the school year, but they have a knowledge base that they can pull from in different situations for the rest of their life. 
So I'm lucky to be an elementary science teacher here at Miami Trace. I'm even more lucky to work with a team where we all believe in the same philosophy of asking kids to ask questions and solve problems. And it's okay if they don't know the answer to things. My team enjoys um, having fun, solving problems with students, using hands-on or even technology um, to solve our problems, ask why. They often have aha moments where light bulbs go off and they realize, oh, this is why we have day and night. Things like that are really fun to explore with the students and just watch them learn and ask questions every single day. I think our number one thing that we do is like we focus on relationships, not just with our kids, but with each other within our team. So we share all of our ideas, our resources. We work really hard to make sure that our team is implementing the new science of reading curriculum that we're using to make sure that all students are getting that research-based um, top tier curriculum. Reading and writing skills are imperative for success in life no matter the path each individual student chooses. We believe building relationships and getting to know students are paramount in understanding their interests and goals on the secondary level. As we delve into the world of literature and the art of writing, we aim to provide quality instruction accompanied with a top-level curriculum. Along with teaching standards in the math classrooms, we also teach our students problem-solving and critical thinking skills that can allow them to be successful in whatever they choose to do after high school. Most recently, we've looked at quadratic functions and the way we can model those in the real world be with the flight path of a baseball. So our kids can calculate when it would reach its maximum height, when it would hit the ground, and they can figure out the height at which it was thrown from. So they can use real life skills after this class. Our goal in the work-based learning program is to guide students in transition from the classroom toward a post-secondary path that is individually tailored for them, which this could include college, the military, or directly into the workforce. Miami Trace is focused on addressing each student's distinct needs. Our Learning Center serves as a supportive alternative environment, fostering partnerships like integrated behavioral health services for comprehensive social and emotional support. Our affiliations with PATH, Side of Paint Valley, Mental Health, and Pickaway Area Recovery Services underline our commitment to both mental and physical well-being. Serving the whole child and using effective communication strategies builds a strong school culture, which is goal two of our strategic plan. In recent years, Miami Trace has prioritized social emotional learning. It is imperative that students know how to successfully interact with each other, establish and maintain positive relationships, feel and show empathy, understand and manage their emotions, and set and achieve positive goals. Miami Trace has established partnerships with several area counseling services. Families can access these services by contacting an administrator or the school counselor. Miami Trace Middle School has incorporated the seventh grade life skills class that focuses on three objectives. Number one, personal self-management skills. Students develop skills to help them enhance their self-esteem, develop problem-solving abilities, reduce stress and anxiety, and manage anger for better mental health. Secondly, general social skills. Students gain skills to meet personal challenges such as overcoming shyness, communicating effectively, and building relationships, and also avoiding violence. And finally, drug-resistant skills. Students build effective defenses against pressures to use tobacco, tobacco products, alcohol, and other drugs. We hope to truly assist our students with learning these valuable skills to be successful in life while also meeting their diverse needs. Every Thursday at Miami Trace High School, students are afforded the opportunity to participate in reassessment in a period called Panther Period. During this time, students are given the opportunity for reassessment on formative tests or quizzes. Also during this time, guidance counselors take advantage to assist students in career opportunities. Providing learning opportunities for staff and recognizing attendance are instrumental in having positive district operations which is goal three of our strategic plan. We strive to provide relevant professional learning activities for staff members. This includes new employee orientations, opportunities for collaboration through teacher-based teams and common planning times, online modules that ensure state and federal requirements for training are met, and presentations and workshops by practitioners in the field. These activities ensure that all staff members are equipped with the knowledge and tools to help students succeed. The goal of the Miami Trace Attendance Committee is to help build a culture of high attendance expectations among our students. We recognize how essential relationships are in creating positive learning environments. Panthers, we want you to succeed and make plans for a purpose-driven life that you're proud of. 
Your future starts with being here today. Here at Miami Trace, we continue to explore the best possible outcomes for our students while being responsible with taxpayers' dollars. Here to share with you the current financial status of the district is Treasurer Ms. Carrie Wilson. Beginning in fiscal year 22, we experienced our first spending deficit in over a decade due to rising costs and the devastating loss of property tax revenue from the sale of the outlet mall and the pipeline valuation appeal. Our board and administration leapt into action to begin cutting costs to adjust. In the last 12 months, the spending deficit for fiscal year 24 has improved by $1.8 million. While we are still operating in a deficit spending pattern through diligent planning and cost cutting, we have not only improved our current financial position, but what we expect to happen in the coming years. I will continue to keep a close eye on the developing situation with Rockies Express Pipeline, and we will adjust our spending to minimize future deficits. Thank you for joining us for this year's State of the District Address. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you.